I hope that it will remember. Dakota. Dutch. Oh, ooh, I like this. I do like this. Me too. Head to SamuraiRevolution.com and click on the Strategy School to find more builds like this one. This is a work in progress, but you can click on your favorite civilization, the strategy you would like to learn, and there you'll see the video, deck that is used, and build order so that you can become the Strategy Master. It's the same flag though, right? I literally can't see the difference between There's no them. difference. If I was actually colorblind, which I am not, I would just swear they were the same. same. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I gotta say, they made the bison real nice on them. I agree, the animals are literally the best part. I, I will give them that compliment, is that the bison and the tigers just look so crisp. All right, so today we are going to try for Strelit Cav Archer. For that one guy. For that one we guy who's comment been commenting for like two to three years to do this game. This is just for you. We love you, guy. We we see you. We, we see have been you. Meeting. Yep, it's just been taking some time. That 80 food will help our age up a lot. Yeah. And obviously we'll go for the trade route whenever the wood trickle comes in and all that goodness. So the basic build is we are going to be for a fast fortress build with Russia. Uh, and boys, they're too OP. A too OP. Get out of here, bro. You're not welcome. Here, let's herd that one in too. We're going to need three hunts at least. Yeah. What we're doing. Now we are playing against Dutch, so I'd be shocked to see any sort of aggression. But so we're going to be going fast fortresses, Russia, with the trade post from the wood trickle, and then we're going to be going into cav archers and strelets and Fritchniks. It's going down. Oh baby, here they are. Boy rushed. Here they are. Oh man. This will be this, fun. This is not what I expected. We're gonna outpace them. And shoes can't keep up forever. Oh dang, I missed the treasure. How? <clears throat> he apparently grabbed it. Feels bad, man. You're getting outplayed by a really cheesy Dutch player. That's the Dutch life, though, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. I mean, TC Fire will take out the end boys, but where's his explorer? Does he have the card on him? Let me check. Not yet. Welcome to strategy school, everyone. Welcome to it, dude. This is what we get. Sorry, we're gonna, we're gonna remember spice it up over here. I remember I, a time when I was the only person who envoy rushed. It's good, dude. <laughs> Underrated strats. Now we're getting freak shots here. Oh man. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be fun. It's a fun time. Dude, take him out. I mean, arguably, all five envoys punching at the same time is only one attack less than a Cossack, but that doesn't make it effective. See, that, <laughs> that was backward right there. That was... Oh, raging. 400 wood. And four on the coin. Did we send our wood trickle yet? Nope. Okay. I don't see his trick worked. Sorry, we have plenty of time. <laughs> he might be on the aging the fastest, though he is ahead of us in score by quite a bit. Dutch life. That, that should... Well, actually, we just clicked up, so that makes sense, because it drops our score by 800. Ooh, so that guy was close. You're trying to get him, bro, but you're not gonna, so nice try. Oh man, what am I even looking at? <clears throat> looking at Agent of Hearts 3, the Definitive Edition. Uh, <laughs> the cheese. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. 
готова. Атакую! Что вы Здравствуйте. Да. <laughs> He's trying to get this one will. I know, let's try to hurt that that one level. Deer in. They have probably should do that. That one up to the north would be nice to have hurt it into. We're gonna have to land on the spot for Oh, he's gonna get this one. Yeah, he definitely is. RIP guy. 700 coin. Alright, one, one batch of it. Wrecked. I mean, I gotta say, this, this guy's determined. We, we need two more coin. Come on. <laughs> yeah, we got, we're good. <laughs> oh, man, what is this? Ugh, we anyways. aged up faster than Dutch. That doesn't happen very often. He's getting his banks now. He doesn't have a trade post, which is a good sign. I'd expect cheese if I saw a trade post. We, uh, spot for a forward blockhouse after we have clicked the age up. And I am getting a very distinct feeling that today is going to be a very good day for a bridge fix. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's find where his hunts are. All best right. we can. That's truthfully, the one biggest thing that keep, stops me playing Russia is that you only have one scout age one. We're gonna age with the Cossacks in this case. And we're doing Unless it. Unless you want to do Strelitz. Nah, can't go wrong with Cossacks. Cossacks. They're saying I make pikes. Just, just so we don't get um, housed. That's true. All right, how many want coin? Well, um, we need. I believe it's generally three on coin for what we're doing. And we'll have 700 wood coming in soon. Um, we still don't have our trade post, which is unfortunate. And we go make one? Yeah, we'll go make one. Better than nothing. We only need 700 wood before we hit fortress. We're not shipping a third uh, H2 shipment. Five Here they are. Oof. Well, he got the one. <laughs> well, let's get that trade post up while he's getting distracted. <clears throat> he is really, uh... Taking off those low hit point villagers. R.I.P. We're just never going to get away with a fast fortress, are we? Nope. Doesn't see it's going up apparently, so that's good. 700 wood. Yep. Good thing we're aging with Cossacks. If only we had some sort of cavalry on the way. He went those... halves early. No, oh, he went logistician. Clever. Oh well, we can just call Minutemen and deal with those. Yep. Very easy to deal with. Alright, we have our 150 coins, so we can just call those. As soon as they're about to hit, we can use our Cossacks mixed with it. Let's build some houses on the bottom. He's stuck. We have lost our explorer. Welcome, Rest in peace. welcome to the Minimum Edition. <laughs> It's Welcome super defended. Dakota. Super legit. Again, so we can find that with our, our Minutemen here. Not yet. And we can ship something soon. <laughs> Not yet. We'll do. Come here, you won't. Doesn't seem like he has a stable up, so it would be a very good time to to go over to next first. Or Strelitz even. Which do you think, Strelitz? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's gather up some of that wood, get some houses. One more pass on the trade post. Yeah, there we go. Now we can call 19 Strel. Okay. I mean, it's all infantry in our base right now. It'd be real nice to deal with those helps in the easiest possible way. We need some houses. <laughs> yep. He has a common. Alright. Bunch on food. We're gonna be real shy on food soon. Yep. Alright, he's not expecting the, the 19 Strelitz, you can tell. Please get that house up. My villagers just want a place to live. 
Yeah. yeah. How's it feel, bro? Alright, 19 strelets. Alright, now we're now we're in a commanding position. Let's go. Now remember strelets do outpace um other sort skirms, which is nice. So he can kite with his range, but he can't deal with the with us keeping up. And we can just keep this going on until we have our big mass. Oh, there's his barracks. Only our explorer was, you know, mobile. Only it was mobile. Well, let's get our uh, stable up and have archers get this, this moving again. Show this on the very, road. This has been a very strange age one and two. Really? Really? He still wants it. Oh man. Oh, like, well, wait a second. <laughs> they are great raiders. Yeah, the legendary five guard halberd. A staple since the beginning. All right, let's ship two falcs because this guy's starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> All right, two falcs, baby. And we'll build a stable just so we can get some cav archers to cover him. That's why I call it Look, deleted. Halbs are, are great, guys, but they're not that good. <laughs> they're good at what they do. This is not what that is. Alright, so what we can probably do now is... Yeah, I think we're safe to drop our stable and at least get a, a batch of cab workers up for our Falcs pop. We don't want them to know about the Falconettes until it's too late. And our next shipment should probably be a Pritchnik. Alright, I think he's aging, just based on how he's pulled his units back to his base. So let's get our five cav archers and then uh, push that barracks. Population. Who needs it? Who needs it? Dude, I play like play way too much. I just never think about how this is. Yeah. Alright, so it seems like we're in a decent spot now. So we can either ship... Yeah, either the Aprichniks or the Cav Archers is our next shipment. So let's just do Cav Archers and push. Yeah. Follow up with the Aprichniks. Yeah. I mean, the, one of the best things you can do is be pushing and then send Aprichniks in the back of, of your army. Like, I mean, it's just... No one wants that. No one wants that. No one should do that. Let's send those Aprichniks. Aprichniks now or you want Cav Archers. Let's go with Prince Nicks right now. Alright, we're going for it. I don't it, I don't expect heavy cavalry from the Dutch. At least not a meaningful amount. We'll find out. We will find out. I mean if we have five stratiots on top of our army, then I mean that's on us. Never go full infantry. Oh yeah, no, if we have ten cav archers. Or nine cav archers, not really much to worry about. Alright, hit fortress. Alright, let's queue one more batch of strelets. Try to get some hunts. I think we should push our advantage. Right yeah, we're now. going. Yep. But we need to push on one side and strelet. Oh, Prince is on the other? Yeah. That's the words I'm trying to use. <clears throat> I swear English is my first language. Come on, trickle, 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 trickle. Yeah. Such a good ship. Such a good shipment. So good. All right, we have too many bills on coin, in my opinion. We can put a couple on wood because we're already housed, and I don't want to ship a thousand wood when we have such an advantage. True. All right, we have units on the left. Units on the left. Get wrecked. Oh yeah, this is going to be nice. All right, yeah. he's got his focus there. Falconettes. Oh yeah. I know those are Pritchniks, wherever they are. Yep, they're finding villagers right there. On the top of the mini map. That's what you want to see. That's what you want to see, yep. 
Right now he's trying to defend his villagers. Welcome to Nasty. All right, and now we have the experience. We need to send whatever we want here. Which probably five cav archers or cav combat. Right on top. He can push his, his halberdiers into that if he wants. I mean, that's on him. Where's his banks? He went no banks. <laughs> he go no banks. What is that about? That is a suboptimal Dutch build. That's pretty funny. That's what you call envoys only. <laughs> All of his coin bills over there. What was that? <laughs> Welcome to DE. Oh my goodness. I mean, he did rush, right? He put everything yeah. he had into the rush, which, as we know, is hard to do with touch. Oh man, the halberdiers do make it easier though, but. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to do the logistician push, you should go 700 wood first and at least get a bank. Like, even just one so your villagers are free. Well, we didn't make any banks when we did it, but probably should have at that point. Aging up without banks, very, very intense. Well, because on, on Tad, we were doing pikes, and we used the wood for those instead, but here True. you could have just... Anyways, this isn't, you know, how brushing is Dutch sky school. 